the findings of the Committee on Appointments in its third reading, in third report on the vetting of the nominees for appointment as Cabinet Secretary for East African Community Affairs and Regional Development and Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya laid on the table of the House today, Wednesday 14th, August 2024, and passed on to the provisions of Article 1522 and 1562 of the Constitution and Section 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011. This House approves the appointment of the following persons. One, Ms. Beatrice Askul Moy as the Cabinet Secretary for East African Community Affairs and Regional Development, and two, Ms. Dorcas Agik Odong Odwaru, Senior Counsel, OGW, as the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you very much. Uh, Vice Chairperson, Public Accounts Committee. Vice Chairperson, Public Accounts Committee. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the report of the Public Accounts Committee on the procurement of external audit services for the Office of the Auditor General for the financial years 2022-2023, 2023-2024, 2024 laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, 14th August 2024 and pursuant to the provisions of Article 2264 of the Constitution and Section 43 of the, Public, of the Public Audit Act 2015, appoints MSPKF Kenya LLP for purpose of providing external audit services to the Office of the Auditor General, OAG, with respect to Roman 1, the accounts of the Office of the Auditor General for the period 2022-2023, 2023-2024, and 2024-2025, and Roman II, the financial statements for the staff mortgage and car loan scheme for the Office of the Auditor General for the fi financial years 2022-2023, 2023-2024, 2023, 2024, and 2024-2025. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Uh, Chairperson, Special Funds Accounts Committee. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is the Vice Chair. Um, Honorable Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the ninth report of the Special Funds Accounts Committee on its consideration of the report of the Auditor General on the financial statements for the Kenya National Highways Authority Road Maintenance Levy Fund, Kenya Rural Roads Authority Road Maintenance Levy Fund, Kenya Urban Roads Authority Road Maintenance Levy Fund, and Kenya Wildlife Services Road Maintenance Levy Fund for the years 2020 to 2021 and 2021 2022, laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, 14th of August, morning session. Madam Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the 10th report of the Special Funds Accounts Committee on its consideration of the report of the Auditor General on the financial statements for the Prisons Industries Revolving Fund and the Prison Farm Revolving Fund for the year 2020-2021 and 2021-2022 laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, 14th of August, 2024, morning session. Honorable Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the 11th report of the Special Funds Accounts Committee on its consideration of the report of the Auditor General on the financial statements for the Tourism Fund and Tourism Pro Promotion Fund for the financial year 2020-2021 and 2021-2022 laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, 14th of August, morning session. Honorable Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the 12th report of the Special Funds Accounts Committee on its consideration of the report of the Auditor General on the financial statements for the Agriculture Information Resource Center revolving fund for the year 2020-2021 and 2021-2022 
laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, 14th of August, 2024, morning session. The last one, Honorable Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion, that this House adopts the 13th report of the Special Funds Accounts Committee on its consideration of the report of the Auditor General on the financial statements for the Agricultural Food Authority Car Loan and Mortgage Scheme Fund, Veterinary, Veterinary Science Services Development Fund and Government Press Fund for the year 2020-2021 and 2021-2022 laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, 14th August, morning session. I submit, Honorable Chair, Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Next order. Order number seven, questions and statements. Honorable members, I would like to reorganize business that we go to order number eight, nine, and ten, and then we'll be going back to seven. So we may proceed to the next order as per the rescheduling. Order number eight, procedural motion, exemption of specified business from standing order 43. Uh, Leader of Majority Party, the Honorable Owen Bay. You may approach the table. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, uh, I beg uh, to move that this House resolves to exempt the business appearing as order numbers 11 and 12.2 in today's order paper from the provisions of standing order 43, being a Wednesday morning, a day allocated for business not sponsored by the majority or minority party or business sponsored by a committee. Honorable Speaker, you know today is Wednesday, and Wednesday morning is usually a, a, a time when we debate uh, private members' business. But, Honorable Speaker, given that we have moved a very important uh, uh, motion today that uh, needs to be discussed, therefore, we need to rearrange our business such that we allow that, uh, though being a Wednesday morning, we allow that government business comes in, or committee business comes in, in the middle. So, Honorable Speaker, I uh, uh, beg to move that we adopt this procedural motion and request uh, the Honorable Dr. Pokose uh, to second. Dr. Pokose, you may proceed to second the motion. Honorable Speaker, I stand to second the motion that, uh, of the procedural motion so that we can be able to dispense with other businesses. And I want to ask the intelligence of the members that we allow the, uh, the business to be uh, this procedural motion to allow us to dispense with these other businesses as we proceed on, uh, without anticipating that we'll be proceed on recess. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. 